Hey guys, I'm here today with you in the shop and I'm going to show you how to make a servo extension. Um, today I'm going to be using the Powerbox servo wire. I like it. It's a thin wire that's light gauge, but it is high current. Uh, I also use the Powerbox male and female JR servo ends. You're going to need your crimp tool here. This is the most important part and a pair of wire strippers definitely helps. I also have the servo here with me that this lead is for. It's going into my 20cc pilot edge. That's just for reference so you guys can see. I've actually pre-cut my length of servo wire as well as set out my male female ends as well as the crimps. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your one end and we're going to strip the wire down. I know this wire is a different color. It's blue rather than the black, but the red and the white are still the same. So now that we've got separate your wires out there at the end, you've got them all separated and you're going to strip them. You're going to strip about an eighth of an inch, I will say, off of this. And strip each wire here. The one thing about this power box wire that's different than most is the signal wire is actually a reduced diameter. You just have to watch that while we'll be installing the crimps here. Now you're going to go ahead and set up your crimp in the tool. This is a one direction tool. So I have mine labeled with wire in wings down. That's just a reminder that when this little crimp goes in, those wings you see there go down and the wire will come in from this side. So I'm going to line it up in my tool here and just set that. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my wire. I'm going to go ahead and do this blue wire first here. Now this is the tricky part. There's a little ridge inside the jaws of this crimp that you can't see, but that's actually where you want to rest the casing against. It becomes, I'll say, more of a feel thing. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. But you just slide your wire in there. We've got it now resting. And go ahead and complete your crimp. Now I'll flip it over so you guys can see this here. And we have our finished crimp. We're going to go ahead and repeat that on the red and the white wire. So again, we're going to set up our crimp wire in wings down on this side. And just get it so it starts to hold the crimp. Go ahead and take our wire here. Get one of our wires separated out. Slide it into the jaws and keep going till we hit that rest. Going to tighten up the wire a little bit there. Just getting a frayed strand. Now I feel that rest and I'm going to crimp. And one more time on the white. Now this is the one with this wire, it gets a little tricky because you can't feel the ridge as well. But we're gonna go ahead here. Now I'm on the ridge and I'm gonna crimp. Now we have our three ends on. This is where I said you can keep your servo just as a reference. You're gonna wanna hook up the wires the same way they are. So it's going to be the signal, the red, and the black when we have it upside down. So here I have, have my end. I'm going to go ahead and make sure my wires are the way I want them. With the signal, the red, and then the black, or in this case the blue. 
I'm going to line up my ends so that they're all upside down the same way I'm going to be putting on the end here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to slide these in. Now why I like this wire with the thin diameter, it makes this part very easy. I can actually just set all the crimps by pushing them in by hand. You push them till you hear a little click and now they're all set. You can see they've popped up. So here we have our completed end. Now the other nice thing about the power box servo ends is there is no designated male female crimps. We are gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and I will show you the difference once we have that end on. So same thing here, go ahead and pre-strip all your wires. About an eighth of an inch again. So there we have our wires stripped. Set up your crimps. And we'll repeat the process for this side. Crimp set. Wires in, there's my ridge. Oh, lost it there. So now I'm on the ridge and crimp. Same thing, set up our crimp. Get our wire. And crimp. There we go. Double check all your connections. In this case, we look good, so we're going to go ahead and line everything up and install our servo end on there. So as you can see, this is the same as the last servo end we just put on. They've all locked themselves in here, so we're good to go. And here's the cool part about these. Now, to change this from the female to the male, we're just gonna insert that three prong pin. And then this is actually gonna slide on, lock that in and hold it down. So we're gonna insert that. There's three notches that align with the notches in this to keep it locked on. Make sure you're putting it on the right way with the three notches up slide it on, hear that click, and now we have our other end. As you can see, these guys plug in and out of each other with no problems, therefore it'll work with any other servo as well. That's how easy it is to make a servo end.